Hey guys, so I'm going to San Diego Comic Con again this year. Actually, by the time this video goes out, I might be there or it might have passed. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get this video out. If you've been following me for at least a year now, you would know that I went last year. I went with my older sister and her boyfriend and this year, again, I'm going with my older sister but my little sister was able to get off work so she is going to come with us. So we kind of started trying to brainstorm a group costume idea. We ended up deciding to do the three female characters from Oxenfree. If you like games, video games, computer games, whatever, I highly suggest Oxenfree. It's really good. One of the best parts of doing those characters as our cosplay is that, well first, the main character has blue hair, which I do, so it's kind of perfect. I don't need to get a wig or anything. And the second best part is that they're all wearing like normal like street clothes, like, you know, this is the shirt that I'm gonna wear, and then just like some jeans and boots. But the bad part is that it's set up north, like probably the Pacific Northwest area, basically cold and we're going to be going to comic-con in southern california at the end of july so that'll be interesting but i managed to do it last year with that really furry cape which even though it didn't like totally wrap around me it was only on my back it was surprisingly hot so since they're all wearing like normal clothes um i don't really have that much to do diy wise but there are two things that i needed to make she carries this handheld radio and she also has like a corded like necklace thing so I figured I could do both of those together in this video so yeah let's get started for the necklace I used black cording clamp ends a lobster clasp a jump ring and super glue I cut the cording into four pieces 14 inches 14 and a half inches 15 inches and 15 and a half inches I lined all the pieces up on one end and applied the super glue to the ends only after I got it all over my fingers, of course. And then I placed the clamp end and then used pliers. Wait, not these things. These things kind of suck for this. Here we go. One of these works best, I think. They're called alligator pliers. I believe they're supposed to be used for plumbing, but they found their way into the family tool collection here at my house, so I kind of just use them for whatever. Of course, you can use whatever pliers work best for you, but I found that these just work super great for me. Anyway, I repeated this for the other end. Then I put the lobster clasp on. The looped part of the clamp end is big enough for me to connect the lobster clasp into, so I didn't bother adding another jump ring there. And then the necklace is complete. And on to the handheld radio. So I had grand ideas for this thing. Initially I wanted to get an old radio, gut it, do some Arduino stuff, add LEDs to make it glow green from the display, make the oxen free soundtrack or static play when you press the buttons or turn the dial, stuff like that. Through a mix of not being able to find a suitable old radio and also thinking I had way more time to work on it, I had to fall to plan B and then ultimately plan C. My plan B was to build a radio out of some mat board and foam core that I had sitting around. I thought I could build a thing that I could open up and slip my phone into and I could play the music or static with my phone and then have the display look like the glowing green display of the game's handheld radio. It was a good plan in theory and I think it still has potential. However, I didn't have the time to really work on this before I had to leave to California, so sadly I had to revert to plan C. So here it is. I used a tiny store-bought handheld radio, masking tape, an X-Acto knife, red paint, acrylic sealer, a drill, thin elastic, an end clamp, and pliers. In the artwork for the game, the handheld radio had a little wrist strap, but this store-bought one didn't, so I had to add one. I also wanted to add one anyway, just to make it less of a pain in the ass to carry around. I decided the best way to attach the strap was to make the hole through the corner of the radio and threading the elastic through that. To make the hole, I just used a drill with a small drill bit and drilled two holes right next to each other at the edge of the radio. And then I cleaned up the inside with an X-Acto knife to make it into an oval hole. Then I repeated this to make another oval hole at the corner on the other side. I covered all of the black areas with masking tape to protect it from the paint. 
I used an X-Acto knife to cut the tape from the areas that were going to be painted. Then I used a few layers of this red acrylic ink. This probably wasn't the best paint to use, but it's what I had and I had to get this thing done as soon as possible. I think I ended up doing about three or four layers. Initially, I was going to paint it and then just leave it at that, but the paint had kind of a tacky feeling. I mean, it was definitely dry, but it was just desperately calling for some kind of finish. I thought I had some spray clear acrylic sealer, but of course the can that I still had for some reason was empty. Great. The only other sealers I had in the house were Resoline, that is for leather, and Sculpey Glaze, that is for polymer clay. I think the Resoline would have worked alright because it's essentially just clear acrylic, but I ended up going with the Sculpey Glaze. I used a brush to brush it on over the painted areas and then I let it dry. And it worked really well. The only bad part is you could still see the brush marks from the glaze, but I kinda didn't really care seeing as how you could still see the brush marks from the paint. Oh well. Once that was dry, I threaded the elastic through. I overlapped the ends and placed the end clamp over the ends and around the other side of the elastic and crimped it in place so it looks like this. And then I trimmed the extra elastic bits off. Anyway, I'm quite happy with how the strap part came out. Unfortunately, I wasn't as careful as I was trying to be and I ended up drilling into the innards of the radio and pretty much rendered it useless. And here's how the whole thing turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch and I'll leave the information to all of those down below. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron, I'll leave a link to mine right up here and you can go check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you next week.